Okay, in this video we're going to answer some questions on a drawn graph. Right, so first thing they ask us to do is solve the graph or find its roots. Right, well, that's a very easy question to answer. To find its roots, we just look where the graph crosses the x-axis. And the graph crosses the x-axis at x equals minus 3 and x equals 3. If they actually gave us the function, okay, let's say the function is x squared plus 3x plus 4. We could use the minus b formula or factorization to find out what x is. And whatever answer we get would be where it crosses the x-axis, okay? Uh, next question. fx equals k. Again, I've just put in k there to stand for any number. But let's say I want to find out where fx equals um, 2. Okay. fx equals 2 just basically means y equals 2. Here's why. Look over here. We said already that we can have our function as fx equals something, let's say x squared plus 3x plus 4. Or we can write it like this. Or we can write it like this. So really then, fx is just another way of saying y. So when it's when it asks you when fx is 2, really what they're saying is when y is 2. So we go to 2 on the y-axis. We draw a line across, line across. We see where it hits the graph. We bring lines down. And it hits the graph at minus 4 and 4. And how we answer that is we'll say when x equals minus 4 and when x Okay. Uh, next question. F of k. Again, k. I'm just putting it in to stand for any number. Let's say I want to find out what I want to find out what f of two is. Right. So that means usually there's an x in here, isn't there? Okay, there's an x in there. But I've put two in play in its place. So really, what I'm trying to find out is the value of the graph when the x value is two. Okay. Whatever number in, is in here is the x value. Okay. So I go to the x coordinate, it's 2, I it down, I hit the graph, I get across, it's minus 2. So f of 2 then equals minus 2. Okay. So be very careful not to confuse these two. Um, simple way of seeing it is I've remembered if the number is in the brackets, well then we're going to the x-axis and looking for that number. If the number is outside the brackets, like this, okay, so it's not in place of x, well then we go to the y-axis. Okay. Next then, when fx is negative. Right, so let's say when the graph is negative. When the graph is negative anywhere below the x-axis. So the graph is negative not here, not here, not here, not here, but it's negative from here to here. Okay, and then it's positive again because it's above the x-axis. So when is fx negative? Um, well we can say between when x is minus three Could say that, but the maths language to use would be when x is greater or equal to minus 3 and less than or equal to 3. Okay. So bear in mind when they're asking when the graph is negative, it's wherever that graph is below the x axis. And we're always given our answer reading from the x axis. When fx is positive, okay, when fx is positive kind of the opposite, when x is less than, less than minus 3, and when x is greater than 3, so basically here. Right, I'll just tidy this up a little bit. 
a bit before we get our next question done. Next question is asking us when fx or when the function or when the graph is decreasing. Okay. Well, it decreases when its slope is negative or it decreases when the graph is going down the way. So it's decreasing from here all the way to here. Sorry, to here. So it is decreasing there. sorry when x is less than or equal to a half so right here. this is where it goes from going down the way to going up the way When's it increasing? Well, the opposite, all the way over here. So when x is greater than myself. I suppose actually, to be perfectly right, it's um, decreasing at um, when x is less than 0 0.5. Okay, not less than or equal to. Right, the max or the min value. Maximum in value. Well, in this case, we're going to have a minimum value because it goes, it goes down the way. Okay, if it was like this, there would be a maximum value up here. Well, the minimum value is the lowest point. So there it is. And if we're asked for the minimum value, well, then we read off the y-axis, and it's probably three minus three and a quarter. I'd say okay, it's just below three. So minus three point two five y equals minus 3.25 but we can just leave it as minus 3.25 the max or min point then well, we just read the coordinate so it's 0 0.5 minus 3.25 okay that's that coordinate there and then an intersecting graph okay well they could be a line going through this So there's another function. And they might ask where the two of them intersect. Here and here. And you'll just read it off the x. So when x is minus 4. And where else do they intersect? When x is 5. And if they want the points, well then it will be minus 4. Two and six five. Sorry, five six. Five six. Okay, that's that guys. Um,